Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 21, and this is war number 11. We're almost done with the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Polish Team Elite. Now, while we were still enlisted, and the uh, matchmaker was deciding what team we were gonna fight, what uh, alliance we we're gonna fight, uh, we got an announcement. Uh, the wizards, the math wizards in our alliance did some calculations and they saw that there was no way for us to get to Platinum 2. And as long as we got the bosses down, there was no way that we were going to go to Platinum 4. So we're solidly in Platinum 3 right now. So the announcement came to just go ahead, place with suicides. I thank them because that cost me units each time because I run suicides all the time and so I have to spend units to switch my masteries just so I could place defense now I don't have to worry about that uh, we're also not going for full exploration because it really doesn't matter whether we win or lose these wars so what we're doing now is boss rush you know we uh, I believe for this war we cleared the first section 100 percent and then we all jumped on the left hand side and just went straight to the boss you know get the minis down get the boss down and we're good okay that's the plan so uh this first fight is against medusa not too difficult if you know how to fight her she's not a new champion and she used to be a very nasty defender they put her as the boss and I used to take her out with Corvus. Uh, but you'll notice here, once she has those three Furies up, Living Strands is activated. I don't just hit into her. You know, I'll wait it out. I'll hit one and back off. You can also hit into her block if she's pushing you into the corner. Wait till she's blocking and just hit into her block. That won't trigger uh, her auto block. Uh, and you can get her down that way. All right, but no difficulty uh, whatsoever there. Uh, we lost a little bit more health than I would have liked, but I'm starting to get used to uh, that being the case on that note. Uh, if you saw one of my uh, previous wars, you'll know I got hit really hard and I was very surprised. Woke me right up, let me tell you. All right, so next up, we're gonna be fighting Tigra. All right, and no reason not to boost. You see that I'm capped out on my boosts and I stay capped out on those boosts because I'm always getting the top milestone in the objectives and you get a 15% boost when you get the top milestone in pretty much any of those solo objectives. All right, so I stay capped and I have a bunch of them in my overflow. All right, so I went in here with Nick Fury. Love me some Nick Fury. The life model decoy is out right now, so he's not doing as much damage as the real Nick Fury will, but we're good. You can see that his damage is not shabby, even though it is not what it could be uh, when the real Nick Fury is out. We just took her down. Now, remember I told you guys that it was a boss rush, right? So this was section one. You see what uh, where I'm at right here? That uh, Killmonger is not cleared. So I went away, ate, played with my sister a little bit uh, on her PlayStation. Next thing I know, I come back, section two on the left side, my path, done. And we're here at the minis. So I'm like, oh, righty. So this Sasquatch um, is a pain if you don't have a good counter. Now, I wasn't worried so much about uh, bringing in the proper counter uh, I just wanted to get that mini down. Now, granted, I was hoping that I would have done better than I did, but it was a learning experience. So Sasquatch, he has a lot of health. Uh, he can be very annoying. And when he's below 40% health, he has chances to stack some regen. And it is not pretty. So you really want somebody that can stop that regen, okay? So you notice that I didn't go in first with Warlock, okay? Uh, I wanted to see whether Nick Fury could uh, do this. 
I have Despair Mastery. So the more debuffs that I can place on them, uh, the less healing they will do. But look at his healing. Just look at that healing. That is insane, okay? Uh, but I kept going, kept going. Uh, by this time, I was pretty sure that uh, we were not going to get this guy down with Nick Fury. Uh, he wasn't able to handle that regen uh, very well at all. But I kept going, you know, what else can you do? All right. Um, now, Sasquatch is a stubborn uh, defender, but Nick Fury can counter that which is one of the reasons that I originally went in there. But notice that Sasquatch has more health now than he did when I went in, because that regen is legit. And he will go right back up to 40 very quickly if you don't have some way to stop it, slow it down, um, out damage it. It's not pretty, okay? So I'm looking at his health and I'm just like, wow, that was a poor decision. Now, I don't have Despair maxed out. Maybe that would have helped uh, in this situation. I don't know. Uh, maxed out Despair uh, would definitely have hindered his regen, but he gets so much regen that I'm just not sure if that would have worked. All right. So this time, what I did, I actually pushed him to that special three on purpose because I wanted the real Nick Fury to come out so that I could do more damage. Because if we're trying to out damage that regen, you want to be able to, you know, use the real Nick Fury because he's getting crazy um, damage boosts. All right. Uh, and so you can see every time we have to bait it out like this, he's just regening. It's, it's ugly. OK, uh, so I'm going in again. And see, I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible. But just look at that. The real Nick Fury is doing some good work. Uh, he can definitely out damage it, but you can't keep it up. You have to bait that special out a little bit. Now, if I had had the real Nick Fury out from the start when he had a uh, little bit of health, I could have gotten him down. But you live and you learn, okay? So the real Nick Fury definitely can put that damage on him. And we're back at somewhat where he was when I first started. So at least we didn't leave him at 40% health. So after that one, I said, all right, let's try Omega Red. Mind you, I already know Warlock is going to be a great counter for him. But I'm playing around right now and testing things out. And I wanted to see with enough spores, would that help? You know, could he get him down if he had enough spores on him? So we're, we're getting up there. You see, I'm doing the heavy attacks. Um, but look at that, that regen. That regen is just nuts. All right. And, we, you know, we're, we're still pushing him. But I'm looking. I'm just like, okay, you know what? We need to just die. That's, that's pretty much what I said there. Because if I did not, he was about to regen all the way back up to 40%. So that test was a fail, but I was not going to keep going. I saw that it wasn't working. So I said, all right, time to get Warlock in here. Now, the way that I needed to play Warlock, uh, what you need to do is you need to get that infection up ASAP, okay? So I'm putting bleeds on him. I'm parrying, putting bleeds. That bleed is actually pretty legit. It lasts a long time, okay? But every time he goes indestructible, he basically purifies the bleed. Now I parried enough so that I have the infection on him. Okay, so all that you see he's stacked up with his regen. He's not getting any health back. There's that lovely low percent health. Then he parries me. Nice, right? And so I'm just like, all right, I got you. I see you, but we got him down. Warlock definitely um, is a match for him on this node. You know, you just need to play around the whole stubborn global and all of that. All right. But that will do it for my contribution in this war. Um, I didn't take that um, thing. I would have had I still had my Nick Fury up. Um, I could have also possibly taken it with Omega Red. But it is what it is. Let's find out how the war ended.
And we're back, and no surprise there. We did not win this war, but we were not going for the win. Now, the one thing that was surprising is that we did not get all of our bosses down. Now, there was a mad rush at the end uh, to make sure we could get our bosses down. Uh, and I was watching, and I was ready to throw in my warlock uh, if it would be needed. But one of our battle groups, we're going to be making some changes, I'm pretty sure, uh, in that battle group. But considering we were doing a boss rush, there were people there that had full champions, uh, and we're not even sure what happened. It just seemed like they just didn't care. Uh, so one of the bosses remained up, but we're still in good shape for Platinum 3. All right. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. One more war. Uh, take care. Leave a comment. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to me. Um, definitely hit that like button. It really helps me out if you enjoyed the video. And you all have a blessed day.